How's it going guys? Today, I'm going to be featuring the Vermont, the legendary tier American battleship. Uh, well, if I sound different in this video, it's because uh, I got sick again, which is also why I didn't stream yesterday. Uh, today is... What is today? Today's the 13th? Basically the day, night, evening before they're doing their uh, server maintenance. So I'm you know, I'm probably gonna just post this in the morning. Why not? So last night I guess is uh, when I played this match and uh, yeah, new map, middle spawn. Uh, also Hoshino, the new American uh, battleship commander, which honestly for Vermont is kind of cracked. It, it's basically exactly what you need uh, in the ship because we no longer have that 36 second reload. On guns that are basically underperforming compared to to Montana and really the only thing you would have is overmatch but most of the time I mean there's not a whole lot of 30 millimeter cruisers uh, around yet I mean sure there's Venezia's and whatnot but honestly we still see a lot of uh, Des Moines and Worcester's and uh, yeah not even uh, Vermont can overmatch Worcester's 32 bow and um, yeah as you can see middle spawn pretty uh pretty clutch for vermont on this map we can shoot both flanks uh while also not putting ourselves at uh that much of a risk i guess um we have this whole uh island chain going up the middle of the map to sort of protect us and uh yeah unfortunately guns were on the wrong side i was predicting uh stuff at charlie basically doing what i did in the breast uh being bow in on the island to capture but uh turns out it's the ships at a that's just charging straight in especially this uh this a gear i'm expecting him to uh turn in to angle to all three ships but he actually does a game return and i guess that's also something else he could have done which is turn away and try to uh hide behind the island but he waited way too long and uh ends up beaching and luckily our shells are actually able to connect and finish him off now I know some people may not actually like Hoshino mainly for the fact that you don't have marksmen but uh, you do still have access to flammable cannoneer and if you just simply build for Sigma which I am doing in this match uh, using Azerlin, Colorado and uh, uh, Cunningham uh, accuracy is honestly not too bad I mean it's similar to our Ohio build with Prime we're basically relying on our main guns to start getting the plotting room uh, epic uh, plotting room uh, activation and we do get our first activation there for 2% and obviously once we reach 150,000 we'll be at 10% better dispersion and um, yeah I mean we do have more guns than Ohio so I mean all things considered we probably will land shells when we uh, when we need to uh, enemy GK charging in straight uh, through B small end does actually get caught by GK sonar, which is unfortunate. I decide to go to the left to see if we can get a sort of crossfire if GK decides to turn away from all the ships south of sea and basically uh, to our right, I guess, which he does end up doing, but I also think it's because Smalling got spotted, so he's just simply uh, turning to dodge torpedoes if Smalling ever decides to launch them. But he didn't actually launch any torpedoes, and he's just caught in sonar, and Smallin does lose a lot of his HP. GK coming off full broadside, we're already angled away. And uh, yeah, we get 25k, half of our shells do miss. Which, uh, I guess if we were using like New Jersey or something, maybe we land more shells. But um, yeah, I don't think uh, really is going to be that much of a difference. I mean, we do have a significantly faster reload, so we can shoot again uh, a lot sooner than uh, if we were using New Jersey would. And also considering Colorado's gimmick, I think is what, 25% reload. But then we have, um, what is that French skill? Megalomania, that basically gives us, uh, is it 10% reload? Um, but yeah, so additional 10% reload on Vermont. I mean, we're sitting at, I like, think like a 29% uh, percent. 29 second reload um obviously i think it's closer to 30 um so there's not quite the potential to do two sh uh two shots 
uh, with a spotter plane unless you're pretty low because I do think this commander does come with uh, uh, I don't know what it's called it's on the British battlecruiser commander and like a lot of the other commanders now basically giving you uh, main battery secondaries and torpedo reload for like a percent of HP lost I, it, it's only a 0.16 per percent so obviously if you're like on a sliver of HP you'd only be getting 16 percent more but um yeah I mean as long as you're getting shot at I mean chances are your reload is going to be well under 30 seconds and for Vermont is kind of useful I mean you can see how much more useful ships are uh sorry not ships uh Vermont is with Hoshino um and you could just imagine what Hoshino will do for stuff like Montana I mean it's already really good on BA Montana especially because that ship has a I don't want to say super heal, but uh, improved heal, I guess, compared to uh, other ships at the tier. And then obviously the reload is like 25 or less seconds uh, for the reload. Uh, main, getting absolutely smashed because he's broadside. Uh, but obviously having drill bits and New Jersey in a situation like that, uh, we probably would finish off the main instead of leaving him on a sliver. Because we're only getting a boost from... Uh, the first stack of legendary plotting room for five percent so our alpha is still uh pretty low all things considered uh i do get a little greedy here to try and use my rear turrets on that uh second main and yeah shima is right on my forehead so i just simply start turning in as quickly as i can uh not having drill bits i think does come in handy here because well we're able to turn and well not quite dodge uh, all the torps but since we had more max speed uh, i feel like we were able to actually have our ship turn in a lot quicker than if we didn't uh smallland does have a radar so that's pretty clutch and shima is now dead uh, not sure if shima has any more torps but i dcp the fire and flood just in case he did because well I think 20 seconds is more than enough time for those torps to show up and uh, basically hit me and not cause an additional flood. But fortunately, I don't think Shima had any torps because he launched it over to the ships at sea and he really only had that one rack. Second main, broadside, sliver of HP does go down and uh, yeah, things are, are looking pretty good for our team. Obviously, we don't have a whole lot of objectives. But we're about to go and get B. Uh, we do still have one more destroyer at C. But the issue is he is, as you can see in the corner of our screen, on a sliver of HP. And the enemy team does have a Lushun, which, I mean, a Lushun should kill off a Shimakaze pretty easily. Especially one that's that low. That's basically just one shot from his front turrets. He is sitting in his smoke as well. So, I mean, Lushun having sonar... Yeah, I don't expect our Shima to survive that long. And then it's probably going to be a, uh, well, three versus one since I'm so far ahead of the rest of our team that is at sea. And then we also had the Musashi that was chasing the Ibuki all the way to the border of the map. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. Our Shima spotted their Lushun. Lushun was very, very healthy. <laughs> and Shima torps the Lushun on a sliver of HP and Shima doesn't trade or die at all which is actually really tragic so it's like Lushun has become the next like Z44 all the players that uh, well, I don't know if I want to call them bad but then like they go and do stuff like that <laughs> I mean I'm not sure what to really think here but uh yeah very questionable and I mean even in my Velos videos saying Lushun is busted because it has all the uh, funny buttons and gimmicks to basically keep it alive and like save it and whatnot super heal sonar and smoke uh <laughs> but then something like that happens so as much as i would like to see Lushun get nerfed i don't know if it ever will uh i mean fingers crossed hopefully it does but something like that is uh absolutely tragic the boy on the border of the map he's not that healthy uh, i was trying to see if we could get a uh, lob shot with aim assist over those islands but it didn't seem like he was going fast enough so i just hold my shot for this yamato 
who is now bowing reversing away and with our Shema's positioning honestly I kind of felt like uh, Shema probably could have uh, waited a little longer before he does what he does um, which is go around to launch his torpedoes I think if Shema just waited a little longer because Yamato is reversing uh, he probably could have gotten to a point where he could have stayed unspotted and then launched torps basically for free instead of um, I think Yamato's secondaries actually kill him off yeah Yamato's secondaries kill him and he was reversing as well if he just waited a little longer I think he would have been fine but he got greedy he did dump all 15 torpedoes though so I'm not expecting Yamato to survive uh, also if Yamato didn't reverse and just stayed there on the island maybe move in closer uh, he would have been able to spot the Shema uh, well before he was able to launch torps and then well probably not lose all his HP to like two torps uh, but yep Yamato on a uh, well less than a bar of HP uh, we do have a pretty thick 38 millimeter uh, torp out and it does extend pretty far to the bow so we're not really that afraid of being sitted out through the bow and um, yep, that's four kills. Des Moines charging out flat broadside, not even attempting to dodge. Uh, rear turret to justice. No, no such thing. We do get our Confederate there. And because we do have a pretty quick reload because of Hoshino, we do get to shoot our front guns before any of our teammates do any meaningful damage to him as we also don't get any citadels there. Uh, and yeah, that's one of the more frustrating things about Vermont that I don't like which is even though it's supposedly accurate we don't get nearly as many citadels as we would hope for and then because yeah so technically last night as I'm posting this there was a server maintenance to fix like mobile things and like AI battle things that didn't really matter and uh, unfortunately we're not gonna be able to see our uh, end score but yeah hopefully y'all enjoyed that uh, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe for more and share with your friends. Or leave a comment down below on other ships you want to see in the future. But anyway guys, till next time, aloha.